power for ED1 and ED2 are on. And uh, Sandy, I'm here in one minute until you uh, start your Q&A, so we'll have you hold off on pulling the cable out of the bag. Okay. Can I have my local down? Yep, put your local down, and for the full camera, if we, if we can just get a nice view of Sandy's face and torso, and Farouk will let you finish wire tying your cable. NBL, can you yeah, hear me? I think I can. Loud and clear. Hi, it's not only a gentleman, I apologize here. Yeah, could you tell me your names and uh, uh, who you are and what you're doing today? Are you pioneering the technique that the astronauts will have to use? Or under That's correct. So I'm in charge of the choreography for this EVA, and I actually am practicing it today and seeing how it will work um, for my upcoming career development run. Could you two tell us about, tell the audience who here in, uh, online and the, in, in the audience here in the museum who you are, your engineers working at Johnson Space Center? That's correct. Our engineers. Uh, astronaut inspectors and flight controllers. We help certify crew members for spacewalks and help real-time problem solve. How do you fix the specific cable that you're working on? How do we attach them? Yeah, how, you know, what, describe a little bit how that works and how you're doing it. These are the longest and they're not in the pool, but on the orbit are the, the thickest cables we've ever installed. We actually start at a center point and we attach a wire tie, and then we route part of the cable aft and station, and then we'll route the rest forward. And um, okay. it's just a piece of copper, and it allows us to twist it and bend it, much like a, a twist tie. How long do you train before you actually go up into space? Can you the question, please? So you go into space, or for the astronauts, how long would they have to work before they go into space or execute a particular EVA? Suits underwater. <laughs> there are pressurized suits and there is oxygen that is fed into our pressurized suits. So basically, we're a big balloon right now. They keep flushing new oxygen in, and that's how we breathe in the suit. How are you able to talk underwater? That's the question. One more time. Uh, the question was how you were able to talk to us up from underwater. So we actually wear a comm cap, and within that communication cap, it has the ability for us to communicate um, using communication electronics up to the test connector room and the test director room, and, um, and they can talk back to us via our voice loop um, within our comm cap. Sometimes it's referred to as a Snoopy cap, which so looks like the one Snoopy wear um, on the, the commercials when he's flying the airplane. Can you drink water in the, uh, in the suit in space and underwater? We can. Actually, we have a drink bag with about 32 ounces of water. And this blue thing right here by my mouth. Coil out. Okay. So I believe what they're doing here is trying to understand how to repair a particular airlock on the space station. There's a Velcro loop holding in the bag. You can release those. I'm sorry, Sandy, I missed what you just said. I kind of want to move a little tighter since last time we're not. I don't know how much excess we had. 
I, I do not. Alright, the divers might have to hold me stationary in front of the couch. We have to close and lock, and the lock latch is indicating lock.